What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with the world's fastest, quickest, bestest Revit course online. So this is a quick Revit course for all of you that want to get started with Revit quite quickly. This is part 6 and in this part we're going to be modeling the entryway for our little house that we're building. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day so if you don't want to miss on any Revit knowledge in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay let's get started so this is the building that we've been modeling so let's just spin around a bit let's see what we have and as you can see here this is our entry door and from the position of this door it isn't quite certain how to ent enter this building. You would have to devise some sort of a ladder over here or a, uh, or a rope so you can uh, climb up to it. So this doesn't work. We need to create some entryway over here, some, some, some sort of an entry that can connect to this terrain over here uh, on the right side. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, uh, first let's go into our entry level and here we've got this floor that we created in uh, one of the previous tutorials and actually it's a 400 millimeter floor which is uh, a bit too much in my opinion so I'm actually going to go uh, here into edit type and change that so I'm just going to duplicate it uh, because always when you're creating a new floor or a new wall you just duplicate an existing one and then you update it a bit so I'm just going to change this from 400 to something like 200, hit OK, go into structure, into edit type, and here for our structural material, I'm just going to change this from A4 to A2, and then that will be enough to make this a bit thinner. So now if I just go into 3D for a second, as you can see, this is a lot thinner now. Okay, let's go back into our entry level, and once this is selected, let's create in a little entry area over here. So I'm just going to go here into edit boundary, or uh, uh, alternatively, you can just double click and then you can enter uh, edit the boundary. So I'm just going to be using uh, pick lines for this. So I'm just going to pick one line over here, uh, one of these lines, one of these lines, and uh, let's add one line over here and let's use another one kind of like this. Okay, so once we've got this line work in place, we actually need one more line over here maybe like that. Okay, so uh, now first let's use split lines. So I'm just going to go SL or you can use this split line button over here and you just click once over here on this side of the door and once over here. And I'm just going to hit escape and then go with trim and extend. So what I'm doing now is just trimming and extending this thing so it kind of goes uh, through uh, the door. Trim and extend this, trim and extend this and do the same thing over here. So you've got something that looks kind of like this and then you can just hit finish and you again get this uh, message and you just click no because you don't want to attach these walls to your floor because there is uh, another floor above it. Okay, here we go. This is what we have. So this is that entry level and now let's add a uh, wall over here. I think that would be uh, quite nice. So let's go to entry level and let's use that foundation wall because it's uh, a bit thicker. So let's open up here in the prop. So you just go again, architecture, wall, and then you open up the drop menu and you search for uh, your some, I don't know, some foundation wall, 300 millimeter. And here uh, I'm for the location line, I'm just going to go with the finish face interior and uh, for the height yeah I'm going to go uh, I'm just going to go like this from uh, yeah let's leave it unconnected at 3.5 meters and then we're going to adjust it later on so you just create a wall kind of like this okay so once you have that let's go into 3d so this is kind of what we get okay so uh, now uh, to make it maybe a bit taller uh, select it go to your properties panel and let's change some of these settings up so for the base constraint it shouldn't go from uh, level uh, to entry level it should go from foundation so as you can see now it's going all the way down and for the base offset we don't need any base offset so let's just type in zero and for the top constraint let's go up to roof okay there you go so now it looks a bit better it's going from foundation to almost roof and that that looks uh, all right for now we're going to be adjusting that a bit more in the future but now let's 
add a ramp over here. As you can see, this is now ending over here and that doesn't really work for us because our terrain is all the way down here. So let's create a ramp. So how do you do that in Revit? Well, let me show you how to, to do some modeling in 3D. So just go here to edit boundary while this is selected. And now we're going to be pulling this all the way into kind of the middle part of this wall, as you can see. So you just kind of pull it in a bit like that and you just finish. And you want to attach the bottom, again, you say no. Just say no. <laughs> okay, let's go to uh, entry level and now let's create that ramp. Now for the ramp, you can use the ramp tool or you can use just a simple floor again. So just go floor and then again, we're going to be using pick lines. So you pick this line, you pick uh, this line, you pick this line and you pick this line. You hit escape, you go into trim and extend, that's this thing over here. And then you go from here to here, from here to here, from here to here and from here to here. And as you can see, now everything is trimmed and extended. And actually, I can pull this out a bit even more. And now to add that little slope to this thing, you go to slope arrow and then you go from here to here and you create this little slope arrow. So what this arrow is going to be telling Revit is where, what is the height at the end part of this arrow and what is the height at the uh, arrow part of this arrow. Okay, so level at tail, uh, that uh, is currently at the default, but we've got this little height offset. So uh, default basically means it's at the level at which it is. So this is now at level entry level. So this is at entry level with an height offset. And for that height offset, let's type in minus two meters. And for level at head, let's do default uh, with zero offset because it should be in line with this part over here. So if I hit finish uh, and again, no, and go into 3D, as you can see here, we've got this uh, little ramp that's going from our entry level all the way into the ground. We can actually bring it up a bit and let's change the, the type from a generic 400 to the one that we created generic 200. Okay, and let's go into edit boundary again and change that arrow a bit. So from minus two, let's change to minus 1.6. Hit finish, uh, nope. And yeah, I think this is quite all right right now. Okay, and uh, let's do a couple of more things. Let's now attach this roof to the wall. So how do you do that? What's, what's the score here? So what you need to do is you need to change uh, the actual roof. So for that, let's go to roof, level roof. And as you can see, if it doesn't look like this to you, if you don't have this wireframe, if it's just hidden line, uh, that's okay. So, and if you can see underneath, what you can do, you can go here to the properties panel and for underlay, make sure you set it up at level two entry. So you're going to get this grayed out little entry level. And then you just select the roof, you go into edit footprint. And again, you use pick lines, you use pick lines a lot in Revit and you pick these two then you select them and you uncheck the fine slope because that's not something you want to have. And now you go into trim and extend. So you trim and extend this to that and this to that. And yeah, let's maybe extend it a bit. Okay. And hit finish. And actually, yeah, I made a bit of a mistake. So let me go into edit footprint again and let's move this to the outside of this wall. Hit finish, go into 3D. And this is what we have. And now let's just attach this wall to the roof. So you go attach top base, you select the roof and there you go. Now it's attached. Now, just to make this a bit more interesting and a bit more safe as well, let's add some railing over here on this uh, terrace that we have over here or this entry level as well as this, uh, this terrace over here. So how do you do that in Revit? Well, let's go into entry level. So everything's at entry level, so that's where we have to be. And now you've got this uh, railing tool in Revit. Now you can open up the drop menu so you can see, you can add a railing to your ramp or a stairs, or you can just sketch it uh, somewhere on your model. So let's just go for that sketch path, or you can just go and click here on this button. Okay, so now you're basically sketching out your railing as you would any other element in Revit. And for this uh, part over here, it needs to be at, at exact, uh, exact offset from this line as well as this line. So for that, we can use the pick lines tool with an offset of something like 0 0.5, which is like five centimeters. And let's do something like this. And also we want to have railing over here. So let's add railing there. Okay, and let's just make this a bit smaller. So maybe like that and here, maybe like that. Okay, and now if I hit finish, 
as you can see we can't finish so what's the problem here well the problem is uh, okay let's just go now Okay, uh, the problem is when you're creating railing, you can only use connected lines. If you ever disconnect a line, it cannot be railing. So I'm just going to delete this part. So only this part will be part of the railing and we can actually maybe uh, drop this back a bit. We don't have to waste that much railing material. So we just hit finish and go into 3D, uh, spin around and here we go. Here we've got our pipe railing or we can use maybe this rectangular one, but I prefer using the pipe for most of the stuff, or you can even use this glass one. But again, I don't think it goes uh, with the design of this house. Uh, but if I'm wrong, you can use whatever you desire. Okay, and let's just do the one uh, over here for this part. So just go again, entry level, and you go here to architecture, railing, offset, let's use 0 0.5, oops, 0 0.05, and uh, yeah, go from here to here to here. And then let's bring this in a bit. And actually, I'm just going to bring it all the way here. Yeah, we don't have to extend it. And for this one, let's extend it to the wall. So let's end it over here. Okay, and if we just go finish, go into 3D, as you can see now we've got a bit of a railing here and some railing over here. That's really important for safety. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial in which I show you how to model the entry uh, entry part of this house as well as this cool railing. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next part, we're going to be adding stairs and some interesting elements like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.